Well, hello again. <laughs> it's another one of my favourite plants. This is Leicestria formosa, sometimes known as Himalayan balsam. Uh, it's, you may recognise it. It's often planted in municipal parks, uh, these kind of things. It's not a common plant to find at the garden centre, but you can track it down. I bought seed and uh, managed to grow this from seed. It's a ridiculous plant, isn't it? Look how big it is. <laughs> And it, um, yes, it's normally planted for its flowers. Uh, it's also got a common name, pheasant berry, um, which is a bit sad really, because it makes the, what for me in cool temperate climes is the closest thing to a chocolate substitute. Uh, and it makes these little berries, which are very fragile <laughs> actually. Uh, they're these pinky ones and then they go brown and soft. So you have to wait for them to fully ripen, to which point they look a bit like a really inflated tick, which obviously is not necessarily a good thing to be thinking about either, but they are utterly delicious. They have um, the bitterness of chocolate and they're very squishy and delicious, but without, they don't have a great deal of sweetness, but they are fantastic. I highly recommend this, it's so easy to grow. As you can see, it just looks after itself get quite big but that's okay because that's lots of fruit it will fruit right through into the autumn quite into the late autumn um, assuming of course the birds don't take them all because the blackbird i've seen the blackbird coming in and out of here and they do like them but uh, i'm very happy to share because they produce a lot and uh, i would highly again highly recommend this plant as an unusual plant that looks nice but also produces a strange fruit